Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about the frequency response of a linear phase FAR filter. So here we have four possible types of linear phase FAR filter. That is, it is based upon the value of n and the type of symmetry. That is, the filter impulse response symmetry. Based on that, we have four possible types. First case, this is symmetric impulse response when your n value is going to be on. Second case, again a symmetric impulse response, whereas here n value is going to be given. Third case, anti-symmetric impulse response with n is equal to odd, and in the last case, anti-symmetric impulse response, n is equal to even. Now, let us uh, get into the first case, that is a symmetric impulse response, when n is equal to R. This is symmetric impulse response. of your uh, linear case of your filter when n is set to be on. Okay. So we know that for, uh, the Fourier transform of H of n is going to be that is uh, H of omega is equal to H of e power j omega limit minus infinity to plus infinity of n e power minus j omega. So here the impulse response of the FAR filter has only n samples. So the uh, limit, uh, limits of your uh, summation can be changed from n is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So therefore I can read it the above equation as summation n is equal to minus infinity to n minus 1 as such what it is given in the function and just writing it down it's of n e power minus j omega n here the impulse response that is your h of n is said to be symmetric and it has odd number of samples that is i'm taking for example n is equal to 9 okay so if we draw the diagram for this particular uh, symmetric and n is equal to odd, this impulse response will look like this structure in mean this diagram. So x and y axis, n and h of n. Well, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Here the symmetric line is going to be there at 4. That is, it is going to be the center of symmetry. Right? This is H of n is your uh, symmetric impulse response for n is equal to 9 number of samples and x takes the n value. Here if I suppose draw certain points, so you know how to check the symmetricity. This is your uh, structure. This is going to be your uh, center of symmetry. This we can take it as phase 1 and this we can take it as phase 3. This is your phase 2 structure. This is representing the symmetric impulse response. Then n is set to be on. So here I am taking the value of n is 9. Right? So when n is an odd number, the symmetrical uh, impulse response will have the center of symmetry at n is equal to n minus 1 by 2. So therefore, I can uh, write h of 
e power j omega s we will write it in the next slide h of omega is equal to summation n is equal to 0 so n minus 3 divided by 2 h of n e power minus j omega n plus h of n minus 1 by 2 e power minus j n minus 1 by 2 plus summation n is equal to n plus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 h of n e power minus j omega n. So here I am changing the limit to common limit form. So for the first case it is starting from n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 and second case it is between n plus 1 by 2 to n minus 1. So I am just doing uh, I mean I am making the limit common. So what I am doing here is in order to make that limit common I am just substituting its equivalent value. So let us assume the value of m is equal to n minus 1 minus n. Therefore I can rewrite n as n capital n minus 1 minus n. So here when n is equal to n plus 1 by 2 your m will become n minus 1 minus n plus 1 by 2. So this if I simplify this I will be getting n minus 3 by 2 and again when I am applying the other limit n is equal to n minus 1 so that is first limit this I have applied and taken the value of m. The second limit is n minus 1 so here I am taking n minus 1. So now we will check what is the value of m n minus 1 minus in the place of uh, n you are substituting n minus 1 so this will become n n cancel 1 1 cancel this will become 0 so I, I will get the value from 0 to n minus 3 by 2 here also the first limit is between 0 to n minus 3 by 2 so I can club these two factors I mean these two expressions together so let's check in the next page so upon rewriting that so this will become h of omega is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n e power minus j omega n plus h of n minus 1 by 2 e power minus j omega n minus 1 by 2. I am writing as such in the previous expression. The last expression alone is here cancelled and in the last equation summation here the value and the limit will change because we have done the conversion m is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n will become n minus 1 minus n since we have taken that substitution n minus 1 minus n into e power j theta that is e power j omega n minus 1 minus n so here i am just replacing m by n so i will be getting h of omega is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n e power minus j omega n plus h of n minus 1 by 2 e power minus j omega n minus 1 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n minus 1 minus n into e power minus j n minus 1 minus n right so i hope uh, with this uh, it is clear to everyone so for uh, symmetrical impulse response you are h of n minus 1 minus n set to be equivalent to h of n so therefore i am re rewriting this particular uh, expression so now your h of omega will become summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 divided by 2 h of n e power minus j omega n plus h of n minus 1 by 2 e power minus j n minus 1 by 2 plus last term n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n so this I have converted back to its same form e power minus j n minus 1 
plus j omega n. This I have multiplied the power factors, so it is coming coming as common one. So minus I taken it as inside. So minus into minus will become plus here. Outside it is minus. Right. So here I can take this particular limit common. It is it is out n minus 1 by 2 e power minus j omega n minus 1 by 2. So if I take this particular e power factor as common, e power minus j omega n minus 1 by 2, the remaining term left out for the individual part is n minus 1 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n. So see here, we will represent another color. This particular value and this particular value for the first and the last term are coming at a common. So I am taking it out and writing the remaining terms. So the remaining terms, it is e power j omega n minus 1 by 2 minus j omega n. Since I have taken e power j omega n minus 1 by 2. So you have to multiply that plus e power minus j omega n minus 1 by 2 plus j omega n. Okay. Now further reducing this, so we have to multiply inside the terms of e power. So this will be so this will become e power minus j omega n minus 1 by 2 h of n minus 1 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n into e power is j omega power factor and combining the power terms so e power j omega n minus 1 by 2 minus n plus e power minus j omega n minus 1 by 2 minus n so if we expand this e power term then this will become all fine terms will get cancelled. We know that e power j theta can be expanded as cos theta plus j sin theta. So e power minus j theta is cos theta minus j sin theta. So on the basis of that calculation, if we expand this e power j theta, this uh, expression will become, I am writing it from the above expression, e power minus j n minus 1 by 2 into h of n minus 1 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 2 into h of n cos omega of n minus 1 by 2 minus k so here uh, let us take the value of k as n minus 1 by 2 minus n since we are getting this in the angle of the cos theta so therefore from this i can rewrite the value of n as n minus 1 by 2 minus k so with respect to the limit if i apply this k and n value that is when your n is set to be 0 your k value will become n minus 1 by 2 and when n is set to be n minus 3 by 2 that is the upper limit your k value will be equal to 1 right so now rewriting the above expression, this will become e power minus j omega of n minus 1 by 2 into h of n minus 1 by 2 plus summation k is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2, 2 into n minus 1 by 2 minus k into cos omega k. Since we know that k takes the value of n minus 1 by 2 minus n, right? So with this, this expression is over. Now, uh, I am replacing k by n. So we will be getting h of omega is equal to 
e power minus j omega n minus 1 by 2 into h of n minus 1 by 2 plus 2 into since it is constant I am taking it out 2 into summation h equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 h of n minus 1 by 2 minus n into your uh, cos theta that is cos uh, omega n so in the, in the place of k I have substituted n right so the this particular uh, equation is said to be I mean this particular h of uh, omega is said to be the frequency response of your linear case FAR filter that is on the condition when your impulse response is said to be symmetric and the value of n is said to be odd. So based on this, if we try to find out the magnitude function of your h of omega, the magnitude of h of omega, this is equal to h of n minus 1 by 2 plus 2 into summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 h of n sorry capital n n minus 1 by 2 minus n cos omega n so this will be your magnitude function of h of omega similarly if i write the phase function of your h of omega so this will be equal to h of omega is equal to minus omega of n minus 1 by 2 so if i substitute the value of uh, n minus 1 by 2 to some variable we can rewrite that as minus omega alpha so here alpha takes the value n minus 1 by 3 so here the magnitude response of h of omega is symmetric with omega is equal to phi that is when the impulse response is said to be symmetric and n is said to be odd Right. If we try to draw that uh, magnitude of symmetric, uh, I mean the h of omega, the graph will look like this. This is in the x-axis, omega will be there, and y-axis, h of omega will be there. This margin from 0 to pi to pi. Right. So this will be your uh, center of your uh, symmetry as we saw in the beginning. And your function will look like uh, so same line here it should come symmetry. So this half will be equal to the graph, meaning h of n is equal to h of n minus 1 minus. This is symmetric property. Thank you.